Hello friends. In this video, we will explore how to set up Dropbox and VS Code for you to edit and work with SSGS files for cloud pages. Now in our previous video, you would have seen that there's usually a delay um, in changes reflecting on the landing page after you publish it. right? And this could be frustrating, especially if you're making multiple changes or trying out different ways to fix an issue, and you end up waiting 3-4 minutes each time you make a change just to test and see if it's working. So I learned this tip from Elliot Harper, like where he rep recommends using Dropbox. Uh, you can sync your local file with Dropbox and have an online version of it uh, that you can render in the landing page. So the principle is that you publish the landing page just once, which will point to your Dropbox file, and then whatever changes you make on the online Dropbox file gets immediately rendered on your landing page. So this will save you a considerable amount of time during development. So the first step is to set up Dropbox. So if you do not have an account, create a free one at dropbox.com. Then create a folder within Dropbox which you'll be using for your SSJS development. I've created a folder here called SSJS under my Dropbox, which I'll be using. Now also download the Dropbox app for your uh, PC and then log in using your account credentials. You can Google for Dropbox app download and then choose the appropriate version depending on your OS, if it's Windows or Mac. Then create a, a folder on your PC that you'll be using as your SSGS workspace. Then provide the name and path of this folder when you set up Dropbox sync settings and point it to this online SSJS uh, folder that you created. Okay. Now if you need to change this in future, you can always go to the Dropbox preferences uh, sync and change the folder. Um, so this is the Dropbox preferences for your local app. And when you go to the sync settings, you will see the folder that you've actually used for syncing. And if you want to sync specific folders, you can go and use the selective sync option. Okay. And this is my folder. Uh, you will see that I have mapped the SSGS code directory. And you will see the Dropbox folder getting created under that when you set it up with your uh, local application. So if I go into Dropbox, I will see the SSGS folder being mirrored. So whatever files I have online is now uh, in my local uh, laptop as well. Okay, so anytime I go in and create a file uh, locally here, it will get automatically synced to my online SSGS folder as well. The next step is to use uh, our Visual Studio Code or VS Code and open the folder on your PC that you had created for the SSGS development. In my case, it was SSGS Code. So if I go to File, Open Folder, I can specify the specific folder and then once I open it up you will see all the files uh, loading here you'll see the SSGS folder that I created and all the files that that's already there you will be able to see it so now let's go ahead and create a file here uh, under SSGS I'm going to call it hello world HTML okay and let's go ahead and put some content in there. I'm going to add a script tag for our SSJS. Just pasting this. Okay. Nothing very fancy, just a, a small core function where we're going to output Hello World using Dropbox. Let me go ahead and save this file. So now let's take a look at our online SSJS as well. So this is a local file that I've saved to my SSJS folder here. So if I go to my online SSJS, you will see the Hello World HTML automatically got synced online. Okay, so it's quite easy. Like, you know, So you, you can continue your local development and all the files that you work on are automatically synced online to Dropbox. Now the last step is to create and publish a landing page that will point to this HTML file that we just created. Okay, so I'm in my cloud pages uh, in a collection that I created. I'll go ahead and create a landing page here and I'll call it SSJS Dropbox. Okay. SSJS Dropbox. I'll just give a space here. Okay, and I'm going to use the classic editor and use code view. Okay, so once the file comes up, um, I'm not going to use any HTML here. I'm just going to use one uh, inline AMP script statement. So let me paste that here. Okay, and this has two AMP script functions. 
Uh, one is street as content and the other one is HTTP get. Um, so if you go to the AMP script guide, you should be able to see uh, documentations on these two. Uh, it's nothing complicated. Uh, it's basically like, you know, if I provide a online URL, the HTTP get will get the, the file contents of that particular URL um, that, that's being rendered. And then uh, treat as content will actually evaluate that, right? Uh, not just treat as a string, it'll evaluate that. If it's got scripting within it, it'll evaluate that, okay? So uh, we have to now give the URL of the, uh, the Dropbox file that we created. So it's the hello world.html. So how do you do that is you come here and you do copy link. And you'll say this is the link that you have. So come back here, and I'll paste the link. Now, one thing that you need to change when you use Dropbox is instead of using www, use dl, which is actually uh, for downloading the actual file from the URL. Uh, HTTP get will get the content of it, and then the treat as content will actually um, execute and render the content from that particular content that you have in the, in the HTML file. Now we'll go ahead and uh, save. And then we'll publish this. So you can see during the preview, it's actually taking the content from our actual HTML. So we had uh, put it output using write function, hello world using Dropbox. So you can see that in the preview, so it's working. Now I'll go ahead and publish this. This it takes a, a minute or two. Okay, so then I'll go ahead and click this. And then there you see that hello world using Dropbox. Okay, so now if I go make any changes, um, and if it was actually the cloud pages here, if I were making any changes, after I publish it, it would take at least like three to four minutes for it to reflect, right? So let's now try it in uh, here, in VS Code, uh, after changes. Okay, I'm gonna save. So now let's go back to here, and voila you see that you know immediately you see the changes being reflected this is because uh, the your landing page content doesn't change right it's only like you know taking the actual content from the Dropbox file and rendering it right so any changes that you're making on the online file uh, will automatically get rendered uh, there's no changes to the actual landing page code which is why like you will see it changing immediately okay so this is definitely a great method to speed up your SSGS development but do take note that this should only be used for development. Once you're done with development and you want to make it ready for production use, replace the AMP script functions with the actual code in your HTML file and have it tested. Do not have landing pages pointing to Dropbox folders uh, when you want to like, move it to production. Okay, So uh, that's all we have uh, for this video, folks. Do subscribe for future updates, and thank you for watching.